In this video, we'll take a quick tour of the WordPress dashboard, which provides access to all the site management tools for your WordPress powered website. To access the WordPress dashboard and begin managing your site's content, click the login link on your site's homepage. Or if your site doesn't have a login link, you can simply type wp-admin at the end of your website's URL to pull up the login screen. Enter your username and password, and then click the login button. The dashboard is the first screen you'll see when you've successfully logged into WordPress. Each screen in the administration area contains three sections, a toolbar across the top of the page, the main navigation menu on the left-hand side, and the main work area. The first time you log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll be greeted with a welcome module that contains a simple collection of links to help you get started, including shortcuts to customize your site's theme, begin creating and editing your content, manage your widgets or menus, enable comments, or learn more. When you're comfortable with the dashboard, you can dismiss this welcome module. At the top of the dashboard is the toolbar, which contains links to the most commonly used administrative functions, including links to find more information about WordPress, documentation, and the support forums if you need help. The toolbar also contains quick links to create a new post, upload media files, add a new page, or create a user. Hovering over your site's name will enable you to switch to the public view of your site. And when you're logged in, the toolbar remains across the top of your site while you browse, enabling you to quickly edit the page or post you're currently viewing, or create new content. Hover over the site name again to return to the dashboard or any of the other panels in the administration area. On the right-hand side of the toolbar, you'll find links to edit your profile or log out. It's a good idea to visit your profile right away and set up your personal preferences. These options allow you to customize WordPress to work best for you, and even choose from a number of different color schemes for the admin area. Complete your name and contact information, bio, and select a strong password. To return to the dashboard at any time, click the dashboard link at the top of the main navigation menu. Just below your username in the toolbar are two hanging tabs, screen options, and help which expand when clicked to provide additional options or contextual help specific to whatever page or panel you're currently on. Screen options allow you to customize your dashboard, choosing which boxes are displayed. You can completely hide boxes that you don't plan to use by simply unchecking the box next to each item. You can return at any time and re-enable these. On the left-hand side of the screen is the main navigation menu which contains links to all of the administrative screens in WordPress. Hovering over a menu item displays the submenu, revealing additional functions or options that are available. If you need more screen space, you can minimize the entire menu into just a strip of icons by clicking the Collapse Menu link at the bottom. When the menu is minimized like this, you can still access submenus by simply hovering over the icon for each item. If you like, you can rearrange the boxes on the dashboard. If you hover your mouse over the title bar of a box, you'll notice that your cursor changes, letting you know that the box is movable. Click and then drag the box to a new location on the page. Release your mouse button when you see a dotted gray outline in the location where you want to place the box. This enables you to completely personalize your dashboard so that it works best for you. The boxes can also be collapsed or expanded by clicking anywhere in the title bar itself or by clicking the arrow on the right. So let's take a look at the individual boxes on the dashboard screen. The Site Content module provides summary statistics about your site's posts, pages, and comments, and identifies which version of WordPress and theme you're currently using. The Activity module displays your most recent posts and comments from your readers and allows you to moderate them by simply hovering your mouse over an individual comment. You can approve, reply to, edit, mark as spam, or delete a comment directly from this box. WordPress News contains links to the most recent articles from popular WordPress sites around the web, and at the bottom you'll find a link to a featured WordPress plugin. 
One of the most handy tools on the dashboard is called Quick Draft, and it enables you to quickly create a new post and save it as a draft. This is a great way to quickly save ideas for future articles that you might want to come back and finish later. Simply enter a title, add some descriptive content, and then click Save Draft. A list of drafts you've previously created appears at the bottom of the box, enabling you to easily open that post directly in the editor. So now that you're familiar with the dashboard, let's move on to the next video where we'll talk about the two primary forms of content in WordPress, posts and pages.